Hey everybody, it's Jorik. Welcome back. I hope you're doing great wherever you are in the world. Today I wanted to make a video. It's about uh, Shelly and my wife and I. It's about where we've traveled and some of the places that we traveled, which is behind me here. Uh, when I make videos for YouTube, I'd say other than a couple of outdoor videos, most of the videos I made have been in our flat and uh, they've either been in here or they've been uh, on the other side of, of the wall is our kitchen slash living room. So I've either been in front of our refrigerator or sitting at our little uh, kitchen dining room table making videos. And here I found, uh, although my voice is still not great, the audio is a little bit better in this room. And when I make videos here, each time I have at least one person send me an email and say, hey, what's behind you? So, uh, meaning the photos. So I wanted to t take, and I'm going to show you each of the photos and give you a little bit of background. And when we moved to Portugal, you know, we are in the travel business where we love to travel. And since we've moved, we've opened up a travel agency. This is our inspiration. And sometimes when we're down and out, or if it's been raining often in Lisbon, as it has been, or if we're just... Um, if we're here too long, we're always looking for someplace else to go to, to travel. And when we were in Arizona and the United States, it was the same way. We, we couldn't wait to go someplace else and someplace next. So I'm going to go through and show you each of these uh, video or each of these photos. It's more inspiration. It's something that we really it gets us out of our funk. And when we look at these and think back uh, of what we saw and what we were able to do in each of these places, it uh, brings us some inspiration. So hopefully some of these places will be major locations that you've been to. Some of these might be a little out of the way, but you may want to add them to the list. As I go through each of the photos, I'll put a little something on the uh, photo, video so that you can tell where we're, where we're at. But I hope you enjoy the little uh, uh, photo essay that we go through here. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy uh, the little history tour I'm going to give. So first up here, we have uh, Copa da Roca here in Portugal, so uh, westernmost point uh, in Europe. So uh, just love the photo and the, and the cliffs, and it was on our first trip to Portugal where we fell in love uh, with Portugal, and that, uh, again, gives us inspiration uh, anytime we're down and out uh, about why we're living here. We just take a look at that photo and gives us a reason why, uh, one of the many reasons why we decided to come. Next, uh, this is New Grange in the county Meath, about 45 minutes north of Dublin. These burial mounds are older than Stonehenge and the pyramids. So if you get a chance, you might want to go uh, research uh, this and uh, go book a tour. Next is Salzburg, Austria. And this is behind a government building, a great view up at the castle. And if you notice these gardens here, if I'm not mistaken, uh, these are used as part of the backyard, I think, for the Von Trapp family in The Sound of Music. Although much of the uh, movie was shot outside of Salzburg, I believe these gardens were made to look like the backyard. But beautiful. Uh, if you get to Salzburg, this is a must-see. Next up, Bratislava, Slovakia. Sorry about the lighting there. Um, but this area is uh, fantastic. This is the downtown, the old town area. And if you've never thought about going to Slovakia or Bratislava, it's kind of halfway between Vienna and Budapest. Beautiful place. I would highly recommend it and more of a hidden gem. And then here, of course, you have the Colosseum in Rome. We just, it was raining one day and just got a cool photo of a reflection of it. Um, every time we go to Rome, we uh, don't go do a tour anymore, but we do walk around just to, for nostalgia's sake. And obviously, if you're uh, looking to come to Europe, got to hit Rome, got to do the Colosseum. Next up is a packed day. Uh, we did a tour in Amal uh, along the Amalfi Coast, and this is Amalfi on the Amalfi Coast. Beautiful place, uh, sun-drenched, wonderful, beautiful people. Um, very difficult to find a place to uh, sit, uh, whether it be getting a cabana or on the beach. It's packed, literally, but a beautiful place. 
Next up is St. Martin in the Caribbean. Uh, this is not photoshopped. This is an actual uh, airplane, a jet landing. This is the famous, if you've watched travel videos of uh, jets that look like they're going to crash uh, as they're landing. Uh, they uh, land on a beach. It looks like uh, when you're on this beach, you could literally reach up and touch the wheels. And then when they take off, um, they often uh, are so powerful, some of the jets, that you're, they're blowing you into the water and everything with you. But this is an amazing place to go to, and they have places set up on each side of the runway for you to have a drink and watch the planes come in and take off, or land and take off. Beautiful place. Highly recommend. Next up, a little off the beaten path here in Portugal. In Bombaral, they have a place called Buda Garden. They have like a thousands of these Buddhas all over the place. It's pretty crazy uh, to see. You're wondering what the hell is that doing in Portugal? And I don't know what it is doing in Portugal. I think it's involved with a winery, but it is a very cool place to check out. This is a sunrise in Shannon, Ireland. Uh, just caught it and there were some horses kind of running in the background. I uh, can't see those in the photo, uh, but it's just a uh, beautiful sunrise and it's something that uh, one of our first trips to Europe and it just reminds us of how beautiful uh, Ireland is and just always love a good sunrise too. Next up is Duart Castle, not necessarily the greatest photo of it, but it is on the side of, Ca it's in Scotland in the Isle of Mull. It's the home of the Maclean's and it just happened to be the place where I proposed to Shelley. So it's important uh, to us for many reasons, the family home, but also uh, I'll say the family home. That sounds, that sounds awful pretentious. Uh, the Maclean ancestral family home. And uh, this is just the side of the castle where I happened to propose to. So that's why we took the photo. Next up is Budapest. And this is the famous parliament building. Did a river cruise. And if you're ever in Buda Budapest, it's a beautiful city. Uh, both Buda and Pest on either side of the river. And you got to take a night uh, river cruise because uh, the parliament building is just absolutely amazing when lit up at night. This one is just oddball. Uh, we loved going to a place called Half Moon Bay in California, Northern California, not far from San Francisco. And we just stopped along the side of the road. We were gonna go take some photos along the cliffs and uh, take a look at the Pacific. And here was this piano that was just out there in the middle of nowhere. So we thought it was pretty cool to take this photo. Next up, we have Rosslare Harbor in uh, Southern Ireland. And this is a place of all things called Mrs. O'Leary's Farm. It was an uh, Airbnb. I don't know if she's still in business. Uh, they may have retired. But this, again, was a beautiful sunrise. Um, and again, sunrises and sunsets are sometimes uh, uh, something that we love to be able to take in around the world. And this was a special one. Uh, while we were in uh, Southern Ireland. Next up, we have Arizona and we have Sedona. So this reminds us of home because although uh, my wife and I grew up in, or are from the Midwest originally, we spent most of our lives in Arizona. So it just reminds us. And if you've ever been, or if you, I would say if you've never been, uh, Sedona, Arizona, if you happen to be going that way, checking out the Grand Canyon or something, Sedona is definitely a place to check out. It's a beautiful, uh, artsy uh, place for sure. Very picturesque. Next up, this is Santorini, uh, north of Ia, right on the water, called Amudi Bay. Often you'll go here to pick up tours for day trips and sailing, but we just thought this was cool, uh, seeing the octopus dry, and we just had lunch right next to this. Probably the best uh, lunch we've ever had, and at the time, uh, the cheapest in 2015 for what we were able to eat had a platter of seafood that was just absolutely amazing, but Amudi Bay at the northern tip of Santorini, check it out. Next up is Calton Hill. Uh, that is a view from Calton Hill towards Edinburgh Castle in Edinburgh, Scotland. We went to the Fringe Festival, and if you don't know what that is, uh, the month of July, it's basically uh, a few thousand shows of everything that can go on. You, you name it, uh, acts, uh, music, comedy. Uh, they have something called the military tattoo, which is not about getting tattoos on your body. It's a military, um, 
it's a marching band festival. So you have marching, you have um, bagpipes, hundreds of bagpipes coming out of Edinburgh Castle. It's just uh, intimidating. But you also have bands and you have acts from around the world uh, that play during this military tattoo. But uh, August, if you happen to get to Edinburgh in August, it might be a little expensive because there won't be many places to um rent or if you do find a place they're expensive because of the fringe festival but i check it out it's a beautiful beautiful city next up is Avero, portugal so this is just south of porto called the venice of of portugal uh, they have a few of these canals where you hop on a boat and they'll take you give you a little bit of the history of this part of portugal uh, it's a beautiful little town to go to um, it's also a place uh, several people, expats and immigrants live. Um, I would recommend if you're in Porto and you need a day trip, you want something a little different, check out Avero. And then lastly, this is Isla Mujeres uh, in Mexico off of Cancun. It's about a 25, 30 minute boat ride. Uh, you get picked up and this particular island is just uh, magical. You basically get around using a golf cart. You can rent a car, but almost everywhere it's just a golf cart uh, that you get around. And it's just, um, it's absolutely amazing. And you're off the mainland. Um, it's, uh, I think, a, a very beautiful place, an excellent place to spend the day or spend the week uh, like what we did several years ago. So that's it. Uh, that's the tour. So I hope in looking at some of these that some of these may be familiar to you if you've traveled to them. Some of you may be hopefully adding them and jotting them down to your list of places to go to potentially down the road. Uh, this again gives us inspiration as we continue to keep traveling. It just it motivates us every time we see this to get back and see more or go check out new places that we haven't been to, which is the map behind us uh, of places we have Every time we come back to a place we've been, we add 10 more that we haven't been to. So we're not going to be able to get to every place, but it sure isn't going to be for lack of trying. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video and enjoy your travels.